ready? Okay, we're ready. We're ready? No. <laughs> you, you're looking for somebody. <laughs> you're a little late. Yeah. No, I know, I know. We apologize. Good morning. We apologize. Oh, my God. I'm driving my bicycle, so I don't know. <laughs> That's his excuse. I don't have it. <laughs> Listen, because the documentary is being made with all of you, you yeah. take the whole That's good. Put it right in there. How about you? Uh, right here. Yeah, that'll be that'll, that'll, that'll shake him up. I'll tell you. <laughs> hey, dude, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Fine, fine. Fine, fine. Fine, fine. Fine, fine. We have a returnee to the fold. Okay. Sure. Right, right. right. I, noticed, I, noticed. I noticed. Good. You there too, Pete? Sure. <laughs> Well, who's talking about the agenda this morning? We, we tell them, you, you, you tell You're them. You're on TV. Oh, microphones. Oh, yes. Oh, no, this all silent, isn't it? Hopefully. Oh, yes. It's supposed to hope. Well, 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 then I wouldn't I, want to give out any secrets today. Obviously. Uh, no. <laughs> How's your golf today? Get some, excuse me. How's your golf today? Mine? Uh, there is not. Well, I've been working. I've been beating up on the district out there. But I'll tell you, as I indicated the other day, among the farm areas, yeah, well, I'm surprised that with all the drought, with the lousy, miserable corn and beans, and they're harvesting it now, still there's a good, upbeat feeling. I'm just really surprised. So I feel I feel something like that. But you can't go better than they were supposed to be, too. Crops are a little better than that. I help yourselves. can't take anything for granted. You get half a crop or twice the price. One farmer said, I'm just going to walk so what about you? Mr. President of Guyana. Mr. President. Mr. President. Good to see you and to have you here. My great pleasure, sir. You are the first head of state of Guyana to visit us in 17 years. Yes, that's a long time. Well, Too long. Please. This is General Powell. General Powell. 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 Powell.
have helped in much of the nation, but the far west, California in particular, you notice that today, just today, uh, the fire called the 49er fire. Thank you. Burning in the north, west of Sacramento. It burned about 15,000 acres of non public land, private land. And Oregon, and uh, fire, this fire in Washington, uh, well, it does have another man, is a very bad one, but I just wanted you to see that uh, there's still some hazards out in the West. Uh, that chart, of the, the, the picture we have there, that's the, the Yellowstone, and you may recall those, those fires were somewhat apart, they were joined together. Could you bring that over? Virtually the whole, virtually the whole of uh, Yellowstone is, is what we would call the fire there, the, the, the yellow area. Right. Uh, we met there with the governors of Wyoming and, and Montana, had a good session with them. Then got on some buses with uh, lots of press. Uh, you. All right, you've had a press. You don't get a chance to do this in a few minutes. Right. <laughs> Sit down. Hey. Ed President, Tom, all of you here, I've been, Nancy and I have been associated with the United Way for at least 25 terrific years, but none have been more rewarding for us in these last eight. And uh, it was a privilege to co-chair with Nancy your centennial year, in which you rededicated your organization to serving the needy across America and around the world. And uh, I'm pleased at the success we've had in promoting this program internationally. I know also that United Way served as a sponsor of the international conferences on private sector initiatives in France, Italy, and recently Great Britain. And uh, that I think, I don't know whether you realize what a step forward that was, but one night at a, several years ago at a state dinner, on my right was the wife of a European ambassador, I won't identify the country, and the conversation had come up about our private sector things, and some programs, and a quiet voice said in my ear, but you're unique. And I said, what, what? She says, your country. Yes, you will do things this way. But she said, all the rest of us, we just wait for government to do it. And uh, then one day we got a call from Europe that they decided, several of those countries, as you know, that they wanted to start doing it our way. And now there's a private sector initiative started and very much the rest of the world. Well, I'm particularly pleased in, with your assistance in updating that private sector initiative network and so that it can be used as a resource for community services. And uh, I think that's too much talk for me because I'm going to go over and stand in front of Teddy if you won't run over me with that horse. <laughs> and President, if we might, on behalf of over 10 million United Way volunteers across the country, and really thousands of others throughout the world, we're very honored to be here, and we're delighted to present to you the annual report of the United Way for 1987. I think you'll be delighted to hear that uh, Americans were again very, very generous in 1987. Uh, they contributed over $2.6 billion in 2,300 separate campaigns across the country. And, uh, and in keeping with the, with the commitment that we made to you a couple of years ago, it was a good start towards doubling uh, our volunteers and towards doubling the resources that we need to address today's needs. And as you mentioned, uh, uh, there are across the world now United Way movements being started up with the help of some of the people right here in 20 separate countries around the world, there are now United Way activities beginning. So simply said, we want to assure you that the United Way movement, uh, thanks to your help, your leadership, is strong and vigorous, and we're looking to the future with great enthusiasm. We thank well, you for your support. You. This is Tom Friss. Yes, I know. Mr. President, um, I am uh, 
delighted to be here, and I want to thank you also for receiving us. We're highly honored. I can't resist the opportunity to identify myself. It's from the great state of Tennessee. They gave us Senator Baker. <laughs> they gave us Governor Alexander. They gave us a good friend of yours, uh, the ambassador to France, uh, Joe and Honey Rogers, and your party, Marvin Rudkin, chairman to, of the uh, TVA, down at the end, Marvin. And so I just wanted to take that opportunity. That is not why we're here today. <laughs> we're here to really give you this report and also to honor uh, 18 or so individuals and their spouses who have so generously taken a leadership role in giving uh, from the heart, from the pocketbook, to the United Way throughout the world. Three of them are from Hong Kong. So your private sector initiatives have reached worldwide, and for that, it's great. Now let me tell you one or two things about this. They represent $100,000 plus givers. Our friends from you from Hong Kong, $250,000 a piece per year. That is a lot of money and does great deal, deal of good. Now, the interesting thing is this is the Lexus de Tocqueville Society. It was started in 1981 as a direct answer to your challenge, literally, of the private sector initiative when I heard you challenge. Today it's in 2,100 individuals annually giving over $31 million in 80 communities. It's working, thanks to you. <laughs> and because of that, we would like to, and I'd like to do it again in front of the cameras, present yes. you and make you an honorary member of the Lexus de Tocqueville Society of the World. Well, I shall, thank you. I shall wait till we thank go you. in front of the cameras. <laughs> go up there now and we'll all, as, you, as we meet and each other, we we'll, all we'll have our pictures taken and doing that. And uh, I appreciate that very much. I've, Alexis de Tocqueville has been a great assist to me out of the mashed potato circuit. <laughs> He's a great help in a speech when you can refer to him and how he came to America to find out how did this frontier wilderness become the economic power it was. And I'm sure you all must know that he wrote when he went back to France that he looked in our harbors and he looked in our cities and he looked elsewhere. And then he went into our churches and he heard the pulpits aflame with righteousness. And he said, America is great because America is good. And if America ever ceases being good, America will cease to be great. So, so I know all of you get a chance to make speeches too, as you, you did. <laughs> On behalf of over 10 million volunteers across the country, it's my pleasure to present to you the United Way Report for 1987, Mr. President. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for this. And on behalf of 2100 Alexis de Tocqueville Society members, I <coughs> make you an honorary member of the Alexis de Tocqueville Society. Well, thank you That's very much. Wish. Congressman, and when we do that, I'm behind schedule all day long. <laughs> Have a good evening, Mr. President. Right. Nice to see you. Well, Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you all. Thank you, Mr. President.